Good day. In this video, I will show you one sample problem on dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is very important in solving problems to keep track of your units. To start, let's now look at the problem. We are given 744 tor. And we are asked to convert or look at how much this value is in the unit atmospheres. Okay, so to start, we have to look at what we need to know for us to solve this problem. So, in dimensional analysis, you have to have this certain relationship that will help you find the answer and that is what we call as your equivalent statement. Now, in this problem, the equivalent statement that we need is that there are 760 tor in okay, let me just erase that a little bit let's transfer okay so we have 760 tor and that is equivalent to 1 atmosphere all right so we have to set up our solution so we are given 700 44 744 tor now for us to make use of the equivalent statement that we have which is 760 tor in one atmosphere we have to convert that or rewrite that into conversion factors now in your conversion factors you have to remember that the numerator and denominator should be properly s placed. Now for us to properly use this equivalence statement into a conversion factor, we'll go back to what is the unit of the given value. We are given tor and for us to cancel tor, the unit tor should be in the denominator. So the 760 sorry the space is not enough let me just erase that and we have 760 tor per one atmosphere all right so you know make use of that we write that here Seven hundred sixty tor in one atmosphere. Okay. Now that is now remember this is important that your unit should be properly placed. The desired unit should be in your numerator and the known or the given unit should be in your denominator. What will happen if we have it in the reverse manner? Now remember if you have it in the reverse manner if your ATM is in your denominator, it will not be able to cancel out and that will give you a wrong answer. So, you have to always check and make sure that your units are properly placed. And, to give us the answer, this is equal to 0 0.9789 Okay, atmosphere. Now remember, Significant figures always play an important role in your calculation. So you have to go back to the given and determine the number of significant figures that you should report in your final answer. Now this here will not determine your number of significant figures because this is considered to be an exact relationship. Okay, so we we'll look at the given 744 that are three significant figures. So our final answer will be 0 0.979. ATM. 
And there you have it. That is one way of solving your conversions using your dimensional analysis.